spawning up in the top right position. Representing Kaizi Gaming, it is Innovation. The Machine, going for a proxy Rax. Ooh, love to see it. And his opponent, spawning down in the bottom left. Representing Ents Esports, it is the Finnish Phenom, Serral. As I said, in my opinion, the greatest foreigner of all time. Uh, Rainer is certainly making a case for himself, but Serral is just such a complete player. He is just so good. And look at this. Oh my god, he's he might see this immediately. Oh, it is going to be pretty close, but he is going to see it with immediacy. And, well, does Innovation see the Overlord? No, he does not. Serral sees this barracks. And, well, this is a bit of a disaster for uh, Innovation. Oh, man, that actually hurts so much. Serral wants to see how many barracks there are and also keep the Overlord hidden. Oh, if he can get right on top of this pillar without being spotted... Okay, Serral sees that it's just two barracks. And he actually pulls drones with this. I love this. This is early enough that that is a great call. Uh, first barracks will finish up, but he may be able to deny the second. Oh, and he is going to be able to do that. Absolutely. And Innovation almost losing that SCV, but does save it. Uh, this is a big problem. Two more drones will show up, and that Marine, oh, it's going to have a rough time. Innovation really wants to get that second uh, barracks finished up. Ooh, I like this. Serral putting three drones on the Marine and keeps two on top of the SCV. Uh, it's actually going to be a Reaper here. Okay, yeah, this was Proxy Rack's Reaper. Ooh, okay. So this actually all of a sudden becomes a little bit awkward for Serral, Uh, Because he has a few drones that are awkwardly on the map. A, a very smart decision from Innovation. And Serral, Well, he may lose two drones with this. Actually, he almost... Well, oh man, if he if he can sneak this second drone on the left side back, oh my god, I love this from Sarah. The gas steal right now, so good, limiting the options of innovation. Uh, tech is gonna be absolutely garbage. Oh look at that, he even dodges the grenade with the one drone that was wounded. Man, Sarah is so freaking good, and he is gonna be able to shove this Reaper away with the Queen popping out. God damn, Sarah's good. I really love this gas deal so much. Like, in a normal situation, gas deals are not very good. But, with the drone so far out on the map, with the Reaper there, uh, out on the map, knowing that eventually that command set, or that, uh, drone is gonna get finished up, cleaned up, <clears throat> this is just such a smart move from Serral. Because you know that your opponent has to either aggressively tech, or aggressively eco. And by making this extractor, you have forced Innovation to go for the aggressive economy option. Now, Innovation, he's okay with that in theory. He's like, yeah, this is totally fine. I, I love going for a faster command center. Uh, but Serral should have a read on that. And there's no Marine on the map in order to uh, prevent a scout from Serral. And Serral, he can get right on in and see this third command center. Now, this is kind of funny. Uh, Innovation actually misplaced his first supply depot or second one. And Serral sees that, and he's like, huh, if I had made Ling Bane, I would have won game one. Uh, most likely. Not not necessarily, but I mean, like, it it seems pretty darn likely. Uh, Serral, by the way, is going to see the third command center. That is an amazing scout for Serral. Uh, we do have a single Banshee coming out, by the way, as well as it's, it's no reactor just yet for uh, <clears throat> innovation. Ooh, and Serral gonna scout back in. He will see that it is a tech lab, and he should actually see the Banshee pop out. This is this is just great information from Serral. Serral is so good at scouting. Uh, of course, StarCraft II, a game of imperfect information. So anytime you can get as much information as Serral has, uh, things are gonna go very, very well for you. You know, unless, of course you're playing against innovation and they just strangle you with mechanics Ooh, but this is a cool move from Serral. a little bit uh bold doesn't end up working out but if he uh if he had grabbed those hellions he would have been able to get a ton of map control uh nice job from Serral. does morph in a spore crawler there to save that one drone 
But I mean, innovation gets a little bit of value with the Reaper, forces that one spore, so not horrible. Uh, double NG Bay going to start up here. Innovation really pushing Greed to the max here. Uh, starting up those double engineering bays, I think before... I guess he started the second barracks before that, but... Kind of a weird setup here, but uh, it's been a weird game. A weird opening. <clears throat> uh, Cyril does not yet have his own double evolution chambers. Uh, has this Banshee found anything? No, not yet. Cyril going to work on these rocks here. Of course, taking down these rocks is going to allow you a lot more counterattack paths, or a lot more paths uh, through which to engage an enemy. And it prevents the Terran player from setting up siege tanks here, and creating just a really nasty spot for you to deal with. Banshee in the middle of the map will actually kind of run into these queens. Going to take a lot of damage there. Uh, only 41 HP left on that. And if Innovation wants to get any more value out of it, he's going to either have to repair it or just kind of leave it at his third base as a deterrent for counterattacks. <clears throat> uh, Baneling Nest will finish up here for Serral. Does have that double Evo chamber and he's going to start up those upgrades. Will have the ability to almost go immediately into Baneling Speed as well as soon as that layer is finished. Just needs a little bit more gas. And bing, bang, boom. There he has it. And there he starts it up. Serral like clockwork. Serral's mechanics oftentimes uh, get overlooked because of how many other... I, honestly, there's so many things about Serral's play that get overlooked because of how good all of his play is. Y you really can't... You really can't give him enough praise. Uh, it sounds like I'm fanboying, but like he, he is just the most complete player. Uh, we do have this double medevac drop, plus actually two Widow Mines coming out for innovation. So this is kind of, uh, th this represents a possibility to get something done. And because he got such a fast 1-1 one, one, uh, on his NG base, he will have it with this attack. Funny to see 1-1 one, one and Stim finishing up almost simultaneously. And nice bit of creep clear in the middle of the map here. Uh, are we going to see a second scan? I think we have to, yeah. Innovation. Oh, he's going to go for an Overlord. We'll find that. Nice job from Serral. Look at that. Two Lings, two Widow Mine shots. Perfectly done from Serral. Doesn't lose any more than he needs to. And you can argue, oh, he wasn't under threat. But it's like, well, those Marines were right there on the left side. Like, it's still very, very easy to uh, mess that up. And Serral doesn't. He just calmly, coolly uh, selects two Lings, moves them into the position. Now, behind all this, we do have a fourth command center on the way. Uh, second factory setup, so it is going to be Drilling Claw Widow Mines. Very, very strong way to play. <clears throat> Innovation going to set up with this drop once again. Going to move back out with it. Uh, Cyril, by the way, has excellent vision. Has he seen the fourth command center yet? No, not yet. But he has that Overseer in the natural. Very funny that Innovation has not cleared that out. Uh, Cyril seeing the... Uh, Widow Mine drop set up. Ooh, he's going to go for a very quick uh, Hydra Speed Infestation Pit. And likely into a Hive with this. And Queen in position. This is uh, this is pretty darn great for Serral. Oh, he almost gets that one medevac. Two HP remaining. Meanwhile, big fight in the middle of the map. We will have... Oh, a pretty big Widow Mine shot, it looks like. Figuring out a lot of Banelings, but... The Banelings and Lings will still connect on creep. No creep spread goes down there. Serral maintains a pretty strong hold on this game. Innovation going to start to add on Marauders, but he needs to add on additional barracks if he wants to get anything done. Another Widowmine gets taken out without getting any value right there. Serral is playing a fantastic game. I don't know that he knows about this. Uh, okay, no, he does know about the fourth base. Doesn't know that it's been taken just yet. Uh, Overseer finally going to get cleaned up here. Serral, drop a Contaminate. Uh, Would have been nice. He just had enough energy. <clears throat> Hive going to start up here. Now, do we have any Hydras on the map? Yeah, we've got eight Hydras. Not a ton, but enough that uh, Medivax is going to have to be a little bit careful. Innovation. Oh, the... Oh, wow. Oh, no. Okay, you know what happened here. Uh, these SCVs built the Great Wall of China. Damn, that is a long wall. 
uh gonna nullify this this rock formation being a part of it even has the sensor tower as a part of it which is funny uh but yeah they they built it and then they were shift commanded back instead of being allowed to go through that wall Ooh, this banshee single hydra gonna be able to take it out nice job Ooh, siege tank though behind this wall will discourage Sarah from pushing in here Ooh. Burrow was produced, and we have these burrowed banes on the left side. Keep an eye out for those. Those could be devastating for innovation. Uh, for now, innovation kind of just turtling up on four bases. Serral, he's adding on a lurker den. And, oh, wow, big Widowmine shots to start things off. Uh, there is a planetary fortress behind this, but Serral wants to trade a little bit. And he will get some decent trades to start things off. Not amazing, but not bad. Oh, these Baneleys getting some pretty good detonations. There are tanks behind all of this. And, well, they're going to get some good shots. Serral not going to be able to take those out. That one wouldn't mind killing off the Overseer at the very end. And I would say that was still pretty good for Serral. Usually by this point in the game, uh, when the Zerg initiates trades off creep, <clears throat> not going to be that efficient. So... That went very well for Serral. He's up on 87 drones, by the way. Uh, more burrowed banelings on the right side, on the left. None in the middle, I don't think. But innovation could get caught. The only thing that's unfortunate for Serral is because his creep spread's so good, it's actually catching up to these burrowed banelings. So <laughs> uh, now you like, oh yeah, he's going to move them a little bit further forward on the left side. Uh, you have this weird situation where you're like, do I want... Do I want to spread my creep any further? Like, obviously you do, because that creep is really good. Provides vision, it provides uh, everything. But it's like, well, now I know my opponent will scan. Oh, Serral, nice job. Another single ling to bait out that Widowmine. Uh, Serral's on, like, he's taking his part side of the map pretty much. Just need to take this base. And he actually can start invading Innovation's bases and taking them from Innovation before uh, Eno can start to mine for them. Man, Innovation is really turtling up on 4-base. <clears throat> and this is this is going to be a problem over time. Is there Hydra Speed? Okay, there is Hydra Speed. They just move so slow. Uh, we do have some Vipers moving on forward. Going to be a Blinding Cloud on top of two of the tanks as well as the Planetary. And that is going to be a dead 4th base and a couple of units for Inno. Serral taking some pretty expensive trades there. But knocking out a lot of the mining while he has been outmining his opponent significantly. Look at that. Look at that graph. That is a big advantage for Serral. A lot of blue right there. <clears throat> and, wow. When the creep is starting to act like creep up on your fourth base, cover your fifth base, uh, you know you're in a bad position as innovation. And yeah, Serral gonna to top off the creep on the kind of one attack path that doesn't have any. There is a little bit of a blind spot on the right, but we're talking about like total coverage here. As I say that, innovation gonna clear out a little bit of this creep, which is a, a very important thing to do. Upgrade situation, 3-3 three, three done for Inno. He has plus one vehicle weapons, plus two almost done. Serral, two, two, one, two with plus three carapace nearly done plus three melee well on the way and we're gonna see plus two missile yeah start up immediately once that plus one carapace is done he's got double spire he's got an ultra cavern he's got the lurker upgrades both the speed burrow and the range and a big attack gonna come in on the right side serral gonna get some huge parasitic bombs on those medevacs nice blinding clouds to take out the tanks as well there are a ton of ghosts behind this but innovation just lost so much army supply and Serral is just continuing to knock him off balance, never letting Inno get a, a comfortable position in this game. And while the trades are once again not the most efficient, they are pretty darn efficient, all things considered. <clears throat> uh, Terran really is setting up for an extremely efficient composition. That ghost tank uh, sensor tower, just that, that huge defensive setup. But Serral's just not letting him get up to that for free. He is he is making him pay a toll. And <clears throat> even with all these sensor towers, Innovation has a lot of ground to cover. This whole middle of the map. And as he takes more bases, that position gets wider and wider. And Serral is just really, really taking advantage of that. Uh, by attacking kind of suddenly and abruptly 
with everything all in one location. As I say that, here he goes in with a big force. Blinding clouds coming in on some of the tanks. Planetary Fortress gets immediately deleted. And the tanks, a lot of them are going to go down here. A couple of them do still survive. Sarah, once again, an expensive trade, but a good one considering the game state. Knocking out bases of innovation. Denying mining. While Cyril is getting so much mining of his own. Very, very good. Look at this. He's got so many drones. 99 drones now for Cyril. Plus three melee about to finish up. Plus two missile well on the way. Uh, we still haven't seen any lurkers hit the field. Oh, as I say that, one lurker. Yeah, just one lurker. Kind of randomly in the middle of the map. Uh, <laughs> very, very funny to see. How many creep tubers are in this game? 176. And as I say that, that number goes up by another 13. We could have... Man, this is so many creep tubers. Uh, really nice blinding cloud hitting that planetary and a frontline tank again. And Baneling's going to just roll right on through. Oh my god, Cyril is just all over innovation right here. Meanwhile, another Ling run by setting up. Going to take out four tanks that are kind of on their own. And now these SCVs are exposed. Uh, this base, Cyril, oh man, he has breached innovation. Uh, Inno still has a lot of supply, but Cyril's building a bank. Ooh, gonna burrow here and force a scan. We'll get out with a still a, a decent little number of Marines. Or uh, of Lings, I should say. Man, Cyril is just crushing it in this game right here. Inno, despite the fact that he's on 79 workers, is does not have a great economy and is being significantly outmined. Look like look at what we're seeing right here. The graph that I showed you before, this one is so much worse for innovation than that last one was. Uh, now, innovation does still have a very large army, very expensive army, very advanced army. But Cyril's going to continue to force trades, and he is going to go for another bust on this right side base. We'll take that out, no problem. So many banelings rolling on in. More and more SEVs going down. Innovation is going to clear this army out. But once again, Cyril continuing to trade. 41 workers have gone down in this game. 102 Zerglings starting up behind all this. 190 Banelings. That's just what's been killed, not what has been detonated by Cyril on purpose. Goddamn. Spending-wise, Cyril has spent uh, 20,000 more resources on army than his opponent. Funnily enough, he's actually spent less on economy than Inno. Uh, that's just because he hasn't lost anything eco-wise and well we are going to see Inno step onto creep with his army and that was kind of just an all-in attack at the very end and Cyril easily deflects it he had like six pages of creep from which to uh which to fight and yeah that's gonna be it <clears throat> very well played from Cyril right there and innovation forced to tap out he uh he's got to come up with a different approach because he just got severely outclassed and, well, we will get right into game number two here. Spawning down in the bottom right, it is the Blue Zerg player, representing Ents Esports. It's Cyril. And his opponent, spawning up in the top left, it is Kaizi Gaming's Innovation. Uh, I do want to say, like, it wasn't... It's not that Innovation played badly there. It's just that Cyril played really, really well. And never forget that that started off with a proxy two racks that uh, had to turn into a single barracks proxy reaper. And uh, I mean, like that that was kind of Cyril in a nutshell right there, seeing everything. Honestly, you, you could call him, you could give him the nickname, the all seeing eye, and it would be a pretty appropriate one. Uh, yeah, I, I I would say so anyways. Now, what can we expect from innovation in this game number two? Uh, he's not going for any proxies. Cyril is scouting around for them. He is showing the respect. He's like, you know what? I know that, uh, I know that you guys, the Korean players, are very, very willing to get extremely aggressive. And Cyril does not want to get, get caught flat-footed by that. Look at this nice little terrarium in here, by the way. That's uh, that's cool. That's cute to see. 
SCV scout will come down from Innovation. So Innovation also showing some respect to Serral, being like, yeah, I don't want to get caught off guard by anything weird you might be doing. And that is a... Eh, that's an important thing to do. Now, Innovation has a funny habit of only checking the hatchery, never going into the main base. Serral checking a little bit further with that uh, drone, wanting to make sure he does not get bamboozled by anything crazy coming his way. And he delays his uh, second or his third overlord in order to get a faster third hatchery. Still getting ling speed though, which is kind of cool. Ooh, will be forced to go for a spore crawler morph that will actually delay his uh, third hatchery, but he is going to get it get it down, no problem still. Ooh, innovation actually getting a kill on that uh, that one uh, ling, and forces that spore crawler to stay as a spore crawler for quite a while, uh, just because of where it was placed. He had the ability to control this space for a while, so good job from Innovation. Uh, keeps that drone from getting back to mining. It is going to be another super fast third command center. No second gas. Always means that uh, Terran going to get a little bit greedy there. Oh, look at this. Second factory. Okay. Against a player like Serral, even though he scouts so well, you have to go for something a little bit funky sometimes. Uh, he's just so good. He's just too good. And as I say that, Serral going to get Overlord Speed. He is like, I know you've got something tricky. I know you guys are all afraid of me. And so I'm going to play extra safe. And he will absolutely get rewarded for this. Uh, it is going to be a Blue Flame Hellion build. And Serral seeing this as soon as he will. Assuming, of course, he does check the whole base. Which, come on, it's Serral. He's, he's going to. Uh, this, this is pretty devastating for innovation. Like, it's not like the game is over, but... Sa oh! Actually not going to go all the way in. A little bit conservative with that Overlord, and that could be trouble for him. Now, he does have another one coming through the bottom side. Knows that there's nothing on the right side of the base. And, oh man, it, here's the scout. And he sees the second factory. Doesn't see the first one, funny enough. Okay, does confirm it. Sees the third command. Yeah, he sees everything he needs to see. And Roach Warren, or Queen's coming down. Uh, even a Baneling Nest. Oh, no, it's going to be an Evo Chamber. Okay. Uh, now, will this be Mech from Innovation? No, it will not. Uh, Stim starting up right there for the Korean Terran. <clears throat> and, well, this, this still has the potential of getting a lot done. Serral, I think he should build an extra... Ah, yes, there it is. He's actually going to full wall for the moment. Just to really make sure that... Uh, yeah, what, what just happened right there where a grenade bounces the unit out of the way cannot be a thing. And I like that he's keeping this drone here. That That's a very smart decision. You do not want to allow your opponent to uh, uh, just run by at a moment's notice. So give yourself the most time to react. Ooh, these Hellions going to try and get in on the third base. Oh, bit of a mistake from Inno. Losing three Hellions for free. And Serral closes the wall, knowing that his opponent is trying to distract and will not get bamboozled. Oh, he gets the last second transfuse as well. Innovation, has he? He's killed a Zergling and a Creep Tumor with a Blue Flame Hellion build. Double factory. And has lost four Hellions. He has not gotten anything with this build so far. And these Lings, oh, the wall is not complete. They're going to get in. They're going to take out three Marines and several SCVs, I think. Oh, he's even going to run. Oh, didn't get into the main base. That's weird. He... Did that barracks have, like, collision before it landed? Or did Serral just go after the supply depot? Uh, it is going to be 1-1 one, one roaches, by the way, for Serral. And I think that is a great decision. This is a really, really strong map for a 1-1 one, one roach timing. And Innovation has already committed so much to what he's been going for. Now, he will turn this into double uh, factory tank, which is going to be pretty good against uh against what Serral has but oh man uh, in innovation is still in a lot of trouble blue flame hellions doing their best but look at that the transfuse no roach left behind says Serral. 
and he is going to transfuse that one roach that was getting bullied by the blue flame hellions of course even when uh e even with roaches versus hellions if you have you know what was that like eight six seven eight hellions uh they're still going to be able to take down a single roach on its own the race cars they do go vroom and uh innovations one one it is not going to be done by the time uh, Cyril's 1-1 one, one Roach Push gets across the map. Assuming that Cyril goes right now, which he can. Innovation does have these Hellions set up in a really nice position, but those are not going to help him hold on. It is going to be uh, down to just these tanks. Ooh, this is a lot of Hellions running in here, though. Well... That Serral only loses one drone, takes out half the Hellions right there. Queens are moving forward with this. Will 1-1 one, one be finished up for Innovation? As long as Serral goes very, very soon, it will not. And plus one Carapace is about to finish up for Serral. Uh, nice little wall set up here for Innovation. But I don't know if he's going to be able to hold on. This is a big army value and supply lead for Serral. Oh, that is, that is a really well-placed wall, though. But... Cyril has a lot of transfuse energy available. He is kind of attacking into a choke. Not going as well as it could for the Finn. He does take out two tanks and a lot of the Marines. And there's no medevacs with this. Which is a big pro... Is there even a... S there is a starport. Okay, they just haven't produced medevacs, really? Um, that's actually a big problem. Because that means Cyril can continue to rally in. And he is up uh, 45 army supply. I think he has this right here. He's going to go for some big corrosive piles. Takes down another tank with just auto attacks. And there's nothing to guard these tanks. Innovation has been broken. He is... Yeah, there it is. GG. Serral will take game number two. And with it, the series. Very well played from the Finn. Nice job.